When I first came into the window cleaning industry years ago, I was at an IWCA convention and I was sitting at the banquet dinner one night and they were raising money for whatever the charity was that year. And this guy was walking around from table to table selling these raffle tickets and it was a, you know, buy $20 and, and you could win a big pot and get to keep half the pot. Um, well, Don was this guy that was just religiously working people over, making sure that everybody at every table bought at least $10 worth of stuff. I didn't know Don at the time, but I was watching him work the room and watching how well he did and how much money he brought in for the charity that night. And uh, I was very impressed. Uh, many of you guys have sat at those tables and seen Don doing that same thing. Well, naturally, being in the industry, it's a small industry, and going to the convention, you get to know these people. And after a while, a year or two, I met Don, and he was representing IPC Eagle at the time, and just got to know him as a wonderfully warm, friendly guy. He always had this grin on his face, um, almost like he was trying to cover something or pull something over on you, like kind of a, you know, what's that uh, blank eating grin. He always was just so happy and joyous around window cleaners. I really believe that he just loved the industry and loved the people. Um, we worked with him at, at IPC representing that product line uh, when he worked for them. He worked for Racenstein for a while. He drove the window wagon around um, representing our equipment and helping us make sales and do customer support. He also worked at Ionic um, for a year or so and represented them um, all over America. So. So this guy worked with some of the best companies in the, in the industry and spent so much time bringing knowledge to window cleaners. I mean, this guy was very similar to Jim Willingham in that he just loved water-fed technology and he would talk about it till you were blue in the face, till he was blue in the face. Um, it was just wonderful to see this guy's energy and enthusiasm. He really believed in the cost savings and the quality and he would drive miles and miles and hundreds and thousands of miles to deliver demonstrations to window cleaners. He just had this passion in his heart. He was, of course, as a window cleaner himself um, in Atlanta, um, sold his business years ago so he could focus on the equipment side. Um, but all those years of being a window cleaner made him a lot of friends, of course, in the Atlanta area as well. Um, everybody has wonderful stories of Don. Uh, one of my favorites is one night sitting at a, uh, at a bar in a at, the, at an IWCA board meeting in, in uh, Austin with Don and Jim Willingham and a window cleaner who's, who I can't remember who that was right now. And Don and Jim were tag teaming this guy trying to talk him into buying water fed equipment and talking about the cost savings and the quality. And these guys were just back and forth. They'd had a couple drinks and you know they were just re relentless on this guy. And they were saying, I don't even care if you buy it from me. Buy it from him, buy it from somebody, but buy yourself a water-fed pole, get a water purification system. They would just not let this guy go until he agreed to buy water-fed pole from somebody soon. So these guys believed it with their heart. Those two guys were great friends. They spent a lot of time together. Um, Don, of course, leaves Holly behind. And Holly, if you haven't met her, she is just like Dawn, always had a smile on her face. One of the happiest people you're ever going to want to meet. And uh, our heart goes out to Holly. Um, you know, we all miss Dawn dramatically. I'm not anywhere near as much as she does, I'm sure. Um, but uh, anyway, she's a wonderful person and I know needs, needs to hear from you guys at this time. Um, so Holly, we miss Dawn. We thank you so much for bringing him to us and allowing us all to get to know him. and. Uh, we hope you're going to be okay.